I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate installing Android on uh, an iPod Touch first generation from Apple. Hello and welcome to FC365, a technology at its finest is George and let's get to work. First of all, we need to download from the description the uh, exact files that we're uh, going to use, OIB tools for Windows and uh, for the moment this is what we need, but uh, we're also required speaking about our device, an older firmware, for example on my iPod is a uh, little problem when it comes to um, to jailbreaking. You need to jailbreak with an older version of Red Snow because the uh, newest version is not compatible with uh, iDroid project and so you need, you need to get um, the uh, 3.1.2 firmware if you're running on iPod 1.1 if not, then it's okay. But if you if you want to uh, do this on an iPod first generation, iPod Touch first generation, you need this firmware, which is in the description, and which is also very rare. It's freaky rare. It's I, I searched for it a whole day because it was a paid upgrade. It it was not a uh, standard IPSW. Um, back in that time. If you have an iPod and if you wanted to upgrade to 3.1.2, you had to pay 20 bucks to Apple. And this is why this IPSW is very rare. I got it from some torrents. I'm gonna upload it to Mega. Okay, let's get to work. You're gonna go to um, OIB tools, extract OIB tools here on the screen, install it, click run, next, agree, next. There we go, software installed, one minute, okay, and now you have to uh, go, I have some links in there, uh, it's very great, you have to download now Open iBoot, uh, I'm gonna open Mozilla, it's faster for me than uh, Google Chrome on this computer, there we go, okay, and uh, I'm not going to search anything on Google, I'm going to paste the URL you can directly click it from the description and you have to select the bundle you need in my case it's iPod 1.1 and you have to download uh, those two files first and second downloaded successfully uh, yeah I don't know where it goes probably in the downloads folder but I need them here on the desktop for the moment I'll be Okay, I'm back. Now, go to your um, local disk C, program files, or open iBoot, and here in this thing, paste those two files. You're ready. Minimize this thing and start uh, iTunes, an older version if you want, it, it is compatible with the latest version too, and click, connect your iPod and shift and click on the restore iPod and select the firmware. If you have the 3.1.3 uh, it doesn't work, you have to downgrade. Downgrade it's, um, it's fast because this uh, IPSW is still signed by Apple. Select it and wait for your, um, for your device to, uh, to do the whole process of restore. It will restore automatically and you just have to wait for it. Then we're gonna move around and um, and go ahead to jailbreak the uh, the iPod. But for the moment, I'm gonna let it to um, restore. Okay, there we go. The iPod is being uh, activated on the server, and we're going to continue to the next step. Here we go. Continue, and we're in. Now uh, I'm gonna click get started and as you can see I'm on 3.1.2 and this is a 32 gigs uh, iPod first uh, generation. I'm not going to let it back up anything because I don't need it. Now let's install the drivers. For driver installation we're going to use uh, some Windows features. No thanks, fuck you. Oh, okay, control R and we're going Fuck. And uh, you you click Control or Start and Air, or you go here and type Run 
by the way and start run and you will write for the first instance hd ww e z it will start this uh, little thing from here you click next install hardware manually advanced next show all devices next have disk browse you gotta go to uh, system 32 now to C program files type O go to open iBoot tools and according to your uh, operating system load this file ENV file click OK and you will have Apple mobile device open iBoot mode next next it will ask you if you trust install and let it install the uh, driver for open iBoot mode I'm gonna be back and we installed this thing now let's jailbreak for jailbreak you will need red snow 0 0.9 0 0.9.4 okay we're gonna go here and open red snow click run it's a very old version 0.9.4 you're gonna click browse and select the ipsw from here it will uh, process the firmware and we'll say IPSW successfully identified it will load everything, we'll patch card there we go, I think this video will be uh, on um, two parts because we already spent six minutes uh, just check install Cydia and not uh, verbose boot or anything else next and you have to put your phone, your uh, iPod or your phone in DFU mode okay, it started will show a white screen will then go to a, a kind of hard drive with a um, an arrow, a green arrow and will write downloading jailbreak data you just have to wait for it to jailbreak your device uploading the RAM disk and so on okay now the rest of the process will be ta will take place on your device you can close this one and just have to wait your uh, device will still show um, downloading jailbreak data and after that will show the old uh, red snow icon with that pin apple running and will say moving applications your phone will restart after the whole process and then you will be ready i'll be back when it uh, will be ready uh, when mine will be ready to also please keep in mind that if red snow freezes uh, it would be uh, great for you to run it under compatibility mode with Windows XP because this version Red Snow uh, 0.9.4 is not very compatible with Windows 7 and might freeze on those progress bars like uploading RAM disk and might freeze on half or on after three or four blocks. If it does freeze for you, just run Red Snow uh, under compatibility mode and put your phone again in DFU mode in DFU mode and it will um, work okay now I opened Red Snow on my uh, Red Snow sorry Cydia on my iPod and it says reorganizing and shows that spinning well it does that first thing you will need to install after that the uh, boot lace because we're not going to um, to move around Android files that I have all Android files all you need to do but we can install Android we can download Android files faster using bootlace but you cannot install open iBoot using bootlace some of you told me in comments ah it's simple you can you can download bootlace on Cydia and you have Android it's not you can download it on uh, Cydia you, you install bootlace but after you install bootlace you can only download the Android uh, far more but you cannot install open iBoot and you cannot boot on your Android you you still need a computer in order to uh, install uh, open iBoot I don't know why if you click on install uh, iBoot on uh, bootlace program it will say uh, cannot connect to download the um, far more from Apple server something like this. you cannot boot without iBoot you cannot make dual boot and so you need that but now I'm, I'm I'm going to uh, make screenshots because uh, you probably know Cydia works as hell on this old device and I'm not going to shoot a video about how to install bootlace because it will take years. Uh, this process will 
take a little bit prepare yourself brace yourself because uh, going to Syria updating to the latest version and downloading the packs upgrading essentials and so on will take a little bit on this old devices so I'm going to make screenshots and I'm gonna show you exact steps but yeah be right back okay guys so I managed to install bootlace so this is the procedure you go in CDA search for bootlace press this one then it will install this thing on your desktop on your phone click on it uh, it will show this logo then it will show checking compatibility and if you uh, jailbreak correctly it will show this after that you go here to iDroid and click install it will show this one and after that this one and this one after that and if you if it shows remove then you know it installed successfully you cannot go to install open iboot that's why you cannot only use Cydia version because it will get this error when you when you go to open iboot and you click install you get install failed far more cannot be retrieved from apple so you cannot use this one now let's install iBoot because we have Android on our phone, but we cannot boot it without iBoot. You need to go to Program Files, Open eBoot Tools, run a CMD, connect your phone in um, recovery mode, and write CD. Drag this here and write. There we go. Okay, and load iBack and open iBack dot img3 after you put your phone in recovery mode you hit enter oops just a second load iBack open iBack oops my bad it's open iBoot dot img3 it will get sent your phone will reboot and will be in uh, open iBoot mode you navigate through the console and click the home button and start console. Some verbose will start on your uh, phone and uh, at the end you will see open eBoot big on the screen when it uh, when it is done. Okay, after you see open iBoot on your uh, screen, write oebc.exe but don't press enter. Double press on the home, wait a second and now press this is what you need to see on your phone too open iboot now you, you type install hit enter and wait after successfully installing you write reboot and your phone will reboot in open iboot and you will be able to select android ios or console and this is basically the installation the result is in the description Thanks for watching and download all the files from the description.